I'm in Rossburg, Ohio. It's a quiet day at the Eldora Speedway, but workers here plan to welcome thousands for the eclipse. This facility is right along the path of totality, so people will travel from all over to be in this rural county for this once in a lifetime event. 308 Monday afternoon, the Eldora Speedway in Dark County will ironically go dark and it will stay dark longer than any other part of Ohio. Towards the very end of the eclipse itself, the totality, we're going to have a fireworks display. Eldora Speedway General Manager Jerry Gappin says they've been planning for the eclipse for more than a year. Being in the entertainment business and an entertainment venue, we, we wanted to see is there some way we could be involved and utilize our facility for it. They're welcoming visitors to camp for the weekend or visit for the day. The Dark County Visitors Bureau says depending on weather, 30 to 40,000 people could travel to this county for the eclipse. That would nearly double the county's population. Sheriff Mark Whitaker says he's planned accordingly. The deputies are going to be upstaffed. I'll have a lot of deputies out on the road uh, to provide a service to anybody who might need it. And uh, I have uh, staffed the 911 center with uh, twice the staff I normally do. The rural county isn't near major interstates, so visitors will spend a lot of time on state routes and county roads. Make sure your gas tank is full going into the weekend. GPS could be could struggle with the amount of people coming in, so have some cash on hand just in case uh, you know credit card systems go down. Whether you're traveling from near or far, oh the Speedway is ready to fill these seats. We're not far from Dayton. We're only two hours from Cincinnati, so uh, we're closer than uh, than most people would think. The Speedway still has campsites available from Saturday to Tuesday morning. The whole weekend of camping will only cost you 50 bucks. If you want to come the day of, a carload of people will cost you $10. If you do have to drive the day of, the Visitors Bureau says pack your patience, expect traffic, and leave early. Reporting in Rossburg, Chelsea Sick, back to you. All right, keep it here on Local 12 for the big show in the sky. We are planning live team coverage of the eclipse with Chelsea Chief Meteorologist John Gum, Morella Porter, and Paige Barnes starting just before 3 Monday afternoon. Thanks for checking out the Local 12 YouTube channel. Click the links and tap subscribe to get notified anytime we post.